In dealing with debt, it's going to take more money to buy a home or pay off a credit card as interest rates rise following the Fed hikes. We are turning to Greg McBride, Senior Vice President and Chief Financial Analyst for Bankrate.com. Always good to have you here, Greg. And how will consumers who are carrying debt feel the effects of the Fed's rate hike? Your most direct exposure to these rising rates is going to be on variable rate debt, things like credit cards, home equity lines of credit, maybe variable rate student loans. And so when you're prioritizing debt repayment, you want to factor that in. Uh, If you've got a home equity line of credit balance, ask your lender if they'll fix the interest rate on the outstanding balance. That's a great way to insulate yourself. Not every lender offers that, but it's worth asking. Uh, And if you have credit card debt, grab one of those 0% or other low rate balance transfer offers. Not only does this insulate you from further rain hikes, but it gives you a great runway to get that debt paid off once and for all. What about people who are shopping for homes? What should they do? The situation is actually improved for home buyers. Uh, the housing market is cooling uh, dramatically. Uh, and so it's not exactly turning into a buyer's market, but it is becoming a more balanced market. You're not going to find yourselves in the bidding wars that you were a, a year ago by any means. And also, Mortgage rates have started to come down. All these fears about a recession has actually helped bring mortgage rates down. So uh, getting a little bit of the easing of the affordability issues, again, not night and day difference, but it's certainly a turnaround from where things were a few months ago when both home prices and mortgage rates were moving up at a headlong pace. I have to ask you this. What are some ways to take advantage of higher interest rates? Because some people will make money on the Fed rate hikes. Well, in addition to shielding yourself from rising interest rates by paying down debt or locking in fixed rates, you can take advantage of these higher rates on savings. Where you have your money is going to be very, very important. Interest rates are going up, but not every bank is raising their payouts. And if you look at things like savings accounts or certificates of deposit, there's a huge and growing difference between what the big bank down the street pays and what you can find by shopping around. Check out smaller community banks, credit unions, and online banks. That's where you're seeing the most heated competition with rates going up so you can earn a better return on that savings. Do you have any projections on how long you think high inflation will stick around? Even once inflation starts to come down, I don't expect that it's going to come down very quickly. Uh, We are going to be in this for the long haul. And to get inflation back down to where it needs to be, and inflation's running north of 9% now, to get it down into the 25 3% neighborhood, not only going to take time, but it's going to take pain, in all likelihood, a sharp economic slowdown or outright recession to get there. Uh, don't expect any uh, overnight uh, changes where all of a sudden we're back to the wonderful world of low inflation. It's just going to take a while. We always appreciate you. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.